forward flows. Past life of Lalaji and prediction by Sheikh Abul Hasan Nasirabadi. The year 1873 saw a unique spring. It was the spring when not only flowers blossomed, instead with the spring of 1873, the process of blossoming of consciousness began. Each moment is a season of a spring now. It is strange, not really strange. There are two things. Hazrat Abul Hasan Nasir Abadi make a prediction that two people from Hindu religion will come to this path of Naqshbandi Tariqat, who will be the true inheritor of this wealth. He made this prediction to his Khalifa, Hazrat Ahmad Ali Khan, who waited throughout his life. Then he told his Khalifa, Sheikh Fazl Ahmad Khan, maybe my master has seen you in me. This is known. I am taking that aspect which is not known. It is the tradition, the, there are two aspects of the manifestation of a master. First is the desire, the promise that he will assume another birth, then the prediction comes. It was not necessary for Lalaji or he did not see the need for it to make that mention. It was the master who makes a promise that I will have to assume another birth for the continuation of this process of transformation of human consciousness. Only then prediction can be made. Lalaji did not see the need of this at that time because people were introspective. They knew that a master of this nature is born out of his own free will. We are all bound by the law of karma, but a master is not born out of karma. Instead, he assumes a new birth out of his own free will, out on his own. When he makes the decision, then the arrangements have to be made in the form of predictions, in the form of forecast, and so on and so forth. A simple example I'll take. In Ram Charitmanas, when the earth was suppressed by the atrocities, then everyone approached Vishnu and he took a promise that I will assume birth in human form as the son of King Dashrath. Thereafter, all the prediction, all the arrangements were made for his birth on earth. Buddha mentioned of his past life in one of his past lives, once he went to a master, a sheikh, a Buddha, Buddha Amitab, he was enlightened master. Gautam was not enlightened then. As he reached Gautam, bowed down and touched the feet of Amitab. Then Amitab got up from his seat and he bowed down to Gautam. This baffled him. He said, my bowing to you is understood because you are enlightened and I am not. 
At this Amitabh said, it is true, but I can see that you will blossom as a Buddha and when you will blossom, I will not be around. So I am fulfilling that obligation by bowing to you. And it is said when Gautam got enlightened, he bowed down in a particular direction for his gratitude towards Amitabha. So there are two aspects of every situation, every happening. One is the promise of the Master. When he sees his works have remained incomplete, he has to complete the work for the transformation of human consciousness. He makes a promise that I will assume the birth again. When it will happen, this is not easily predictable. In Lalaji's case, his last birth was between 300 and 325 years before. When I was deciding to speak on Lalaji's birth anniversary today, and as I meditated, this became very clear that it has to be made Known. Although this morning's program is done by another Buddha, Nivedita, a tribute, 151st year tribute for Lalaji. So, the at his promise, now as the promise is coming nearer for the birth of the Sheikh, the Predictions have to be made. The master chooses the best place where there is an opportunity for growth and for the continuation of his journey. It is in the modern present day age when you decide to visit a particular place, you make your bookings for the hotels and all other arrangements beforehand. You do not want to reach there and looking for the hotels, traveling in a taxi, in a cab, looking for which hotel is suitable for you to stay. So this is where at the cosmic level the arrangement is made. It is not that Lalaji existed in the form in which he existed before. Consciousness. So Hazrat Abul Hasan Nasiravadi made the prediction as we know according to the works of Sheikh Brij Mohan Lal, the life and works of Lalaji, that it was Hazrat Abul Hasan Nasiravadi who made a prediction. He was the 33rd Sheikh in Nakshbandi Tariqat. Thereafter, Maulana Ahmad Ali Khan, Maulana Fazl Ahmad Khan, then Hazrat Abul, uh, Abdul Ghani Razi Allah Ta'ala Uno, although Sheikh Maulana Fazl Ahmad Khan and Sheikh Abdul Ghani, they were contemporary, they were fellow disciples, but around the same time, Lala Ji and Chacha Ji's Advent happened. So thereafter the incidents started happening one after the other. The, pre the preparation of the womb, a consciousness of Lalaji cannot assume through an ordinary womb. So Durga Devi, his mother was prepared for that. He was a person of religious inclination, piety, and devoted to Ram. He came from a Hindu background. So be being a person of Hindu background, his emphasis was on Ram Chandra. 
राम एज वी कॉल इट मर्यादा पुरुषोत्तम द बेस्ट एमंग द ह्यूमन बींग्स ही यूज टू गो टू लिसन टू द टोक्स बाय द सेजेस एंड सो इट हैपेंड इन प्रिपरेशन फॉर द बूम द बूम वॉज प्रिपेयर नाउ द टाइम हैज कम for the announcement of that then a blanket wrapped wrapped mystic appeared at the door step of durga devi he was never seen before never seen thereafter this why this is why it is called a mysterious presence it may appear to you as a mystery but to an awakened one it does not it is the energy of the master manifests itself on whatsoever is possible so he appeared as a blanket wrapped mystic it was abu nasan nasirabadi about this i will explain to you one thing it was the 23rd sheikh of this nakshbandi tarikat was Hazrat Baqi Villa Razi Allah Taala Uno, whose shrine is in New Delhi in Pahar Ganj. While he was talking, one day a person asked, "What is the difference between fana and baka? Because Sufism revolves between fana and baka." So at this, Sheikh Baqi Villa said, "You ask this question from a person who comes to offer." my jamal namaz e janaza namaz e janaza means the final prayer when the funeral rites are to be performed for the sheikh the person remembered it happened he came to know that hazrat baqi bulla risal farma gaye as entered into cosmic womb and all of a sudden a person came riding the horse his face was covered nakap posh the veil was covering his face he came and he offered his namaz e janaza for sheikh baqi bulla and as he was racing the horse was pacing to go back this person remembered and he held on the reins of the horse and he asked hazrat sheikh baqi bulla had said when i asked him what's the difference between fana and baka he told me that the person you asked this question from the one who offers my namaz e janaza at this the person who was riding the horse he raised the veil from his forehead and it was baki bulla himself who came to offer his namaz e janaza so he said the one whose namaz e janaza i offered that was fana the person or the sheikh for who i have offered the namaz e janaza is fana and the person who offered the namaz e janaza for baki bulla is baka and the baka comes from the word baki baki means she has completely dissolved into the existence the god the allah has dissolved in him so these are the two stages fana and baka and in that form hazrat baki will explain that and this was the way that the prediction happened and the person the in the blanket wrapped mystic appeared at the door of durga devi to make the final announcement for the birth of sheikh birth of consciousness that we know as lala ji this talk will continue in tomorrow session when i will delve into in details more about this aspect enough for now